Hi, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing fine and I hope you are doing well. No matter what life is giving to you, I always encourage my students and my followers to endeavor to turn around and give what they want to life. That is the only way you can make it. And my viewers, I want to make an appeal to you that please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. You know. Put a comment below for me. It is very, very necessary for me to know what you want me to talk about and what your mind is telling you that yes, I need to learn this. Or we go need to talk about this. That is what I desire from you. And so there is no business. No business survives without borrowing, without financing, either from the, 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 the commercial banks or the microfinance or under financial institutions. There is no business that can survive without borrowing. And so, before you approach any financial institution with the mind of financing your business, there are things that you need to do. And maybe probably because those things are not properly done, that is the reason why you are experiencing some factors of limitations of growing your business. And so, what I am here to share with you today is four major limitations to growing your business. Four major limitations to growing your business. Therefore, there are some certain things that you are required by the business to do that you are not doing. And that is the reason why you are experiencing some of the limitations. And let me tell you, if you are a business person, you are running your own business, and you are experiencing some of these things that I want to talk about, just know that they are limitations to growing your personal business. And so today, that is what I am here to share with you, my viewers. Number one, manual operations. I remember then when I was still working, we have about um, 150 strength of staff. Do you know what the company was doing? The company at the end of every month, when they are about paying salaries to their staff, you know, the cashier will sit down, start writing the checks one after the other. Are you getting it? 150 strength of staff. And after the cashier might have been done with writing those checks manually, he takes them to the bank. And he will start depositing these checks one after the other to individual staff's account. That is man and operation. You are not being effective. You know, you are not being efficient doing such. So one of the limitations to growing your business is man and operation. What you should have done automatically by software within an hour you are now doing it for four hours that is a great limitation to the business operations and so if you know you are doing this manually operating your business you need to change the system of operation of your business here comes number two you know, number two limitation to growing your business is losses due to inadequate operational controls. Losses 
due to inadequate operational control. You know, once you don't have these measures, these controls in place, you will see that all your staffs will start doing what? You know, involving, wasting, losing resources, hard end resources that the business is supposed to use to expand or to stable the business or to consolidate on the business. You are now wasting it as a result of your controls are not in place. There are no measures to guide in the operations of the business. And so, this is one of the limitations that you will experience to growing your business. There is no way the business will grow. If you are experiencing manual oppression, and if you are experiencing losses due to inadequate operational controls, in business, in business organization, you must endeavor you must endeavor to put controls in place to checkmate the operations of the business. Yes, to checkmate the operations of the business. You know, for your business to grow in the way you want it to be. Here comes number three. Number three limitation to growing your business is poor tracking of business performance and cost. This is very, this is very significant to the business. Poor tracking of business performance and cost. You know, you should have some, you should have some measures, some principle, procedures, controls, you know, to measure the performance of the business. In the first quarter of the year, for example, from January, February, March, you know, you need to, you know, checkmate the performance of the business. Then from April, May, June, if the business performance is going down, it means you are experiencing these this limitations to growing your business. And so what you need to do, you need to track, you know, the business performance. Don't overlook all these small, small costs, you know, operational costs to growing the business. You don't need to overlook that it. What you need to do, any small money, either it is big, one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, twenty dollar, four thousand dollars that this business is spending, it must be tracked and it must be recorded for the purpose of the business. And so, for your business to grow, you need to have controls, measures in place to measure the performance of the business and to track every money spent on the business. You know, if you want to spend money in the business, you need to have a voucher. The voucher will carry the amount you are spending at that particular time. And in, it, it, it needs to be approved you know, before spending it. And so, if you want your business to grow, you need to monitor critically the performance and the cost of your business. You get it. Then, number four limitation, number four limitation of the business is lack of financing due to insufficient records required by financial institutions. Let me tell you, some of you who are business owners, if you want to, if you want to approach the financial institution, either 
It is the, 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 the commercial banks, the microfinance banks, all other financial institutions. You need to put the records of the business in the proper shape. You need to document the records of the business because it is from the records. Some questions will be asked to verify whether the business is viable to that, you know, amount of money. The business is asking the bank to finance the business in order for the business to grow. And so you must keep your financial record, your record, your expenses record, your income record. All of these things must be kept to growing the business. And so these are the limitations to growing your business. One, manual oppression. Two, losses due to inadequate operational controls. Three, you know, poor, poor performance. Poor performance of business and cost. Four, you know, lack of lack of financing due to insufficient records required by the financial institutions. Thank you.